with him and figured that, hey, this guy taught, seems to, you know, like the lady. So then he let loose with, with his words, not thinking that it was going to be recorded and not thinking that it was going to bite him so many years down the road. So those things that uh, came up on the news, I don't think that uh, uh, that's something that we should totally focus about or get wrapped around the axle on. I don't think, uh, even though he may have, may, may have said those things, he may not have meant those things. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Retired FBI agent, do you think that the media is biased against Donald Trump? And do you think that uh, the polls or the survey is believable that Trump is lagging behind and that Hillary Rodham Clinton is winning? Uh, the polls. The polls. Uh, if you believe the polls, and, and I don't see too much on why not to, I don't know what, what they're their bases are, but I'm watching the polls as well, and I think that uh, in terms of today, that Donald Trump, Trump is uh, indeed falling behind, and I think these different incidents as they pop up uh, has an impact on him because uh, America is very media-oriented. They follow the news. They follow what's being broadcasted out there. And to, they place judgment on him immediately. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that uh, when it comes to polling time in November, that uh, he'll miraculously surge ahead. But I'm just, I'm not holding my breath. It's kind of looking kind of dim right now because I'm being affected by the, by the polls themselves, honestly. And every time I see it and every time I see him declining, it's, I just wish that, you know, when, especially when it's coming, it's getting this close. He needs to not only polish his act in order to fit into that package that the Americans expect. He also needs to hold back, and you can tell during the debate that he was holding back. Uh, he might not be, you know, like to the level where he needed to hold back, but he, he's held back at least. He, he knows he, that he needs to. In the last presidential debate, he mentioned that he will keep the people in suspense and uh, sort of like has been saying to all those people who attend the rally that he will agree if he wins. Do you think this is a rigged election, according to Mr. Donald Trump? For me personally, no, I don't think in America you can have a, a rigged election. I think during the, the, the primaries that the, the parties can influence the streamlining of their candidates or on who they endorse. But in terms of a general election in the United States, I don't think there is such a thing as, as a rigged election. I noticed too that um, Donald Trump is a bit more into uh, conspiracy theories and that uh, he's susceptible to that. So I think he honestly feels that there's a possibility of a rigged election, but for me personally, I, I don't think that there's going to be, there's such a thing as a rigged, rigged election. So finally, what will happen November 8th? Are we going to have the first woman president in the United States, or will we have the first business person to be the president of the United States? I'm going to say it in terms of what I want to believe. And I believe, and I want to believe, that Donald Trump is going to be president. I'd like to see him make it all the way through to make president of the United States. Well, there you are. That's a statement, Trump. yes? Yes, yes. I totally support Donald Trump. That is the statement from a retired FBI agent. We'll be back for more interview with him on public affairs.